So uh, what is clearance? Clearance is, well, quite literally, the volume of plasma that is cleared of a substance, any substance, uh, by the kidney per unit time. So this, the underlying thing is important. Volume of plasma, so it, it, it will include some sort of a volume unit, ML or liter or what, something similar. And then it is a per unit time phenomena. So it's amount of plasma that is being acted upon by the kidney per unit time to uh, uh, extract a substance, any substance, and make it part of the tubular fluid. Okay, this is very simply put, this is clearance. You clear the plasma, you liberate the substance from the plasma and make it part of the tubular fluid. This is the concept of clearance. This is the formula of clearance. It's denoted by capital C. So in this case, we are saying, let's say a substance X uh, tagged along in the plasma of the renal blood, it came in. Uh, we know the amount of the substance X that we injected in this person. Uh, so if you want to calculate how much the kidney extracted from it, cleared the plasma of this substance X, you will simply uh, use this formula. And I'll, I'll just walk you through it. UX basically means the concentration of uh, this substance X in urine, which is of course measurable. You can just take a sample of urine and measure uh, how much substance X is contained in it multiplied by the rate of urine formation in a normal person at rest. It is generally around one ml per minute. So that is also known. You multiply these, you get a value over the plasma concentration of this substance X. So all of this is known. You get a, a whatever value that you get. We will, we will look at this uh, example in a bit. So whatever value do you get here is basically the clearance, clearance rate clearance of that substance from the plasma okay so let's 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 take uh, an example so let's say this substance x basically it has a urine concentration of 100 ml uh, uh, 100 m, uh, milligram per ml urine flow as i said is 1 ml per minute uh, then you have uh, excretion rate which is uh, uh, it's basically when you multiply the uh, amount of uh, this substance uh, in the urine, which is 100 uh, into the uh, rate of uh, urine formation, which is one ml, you just simply get 100 uh, milligram per minute. But now you get a rate. Uh, so it's very important that you uh, concentrate on the uh, units here. It's, they become tricky as uh, you go through certain uh, scenarios that may come in MCQs and SEQs. And the plasma concentration, let's say, is one milligram per ml. So when you put all of this in this formula, which is right given here, so clearance of uh, substance X comes out to be 100 ml of mi uh, per minute. So each minute, the plasma is being cleared of substance S, X, 100 ml of substance X. Is being cleared of the plasma in every minute okay so as you can see this is uh, purely a filtration um, statistic it shows you how well your kidney is filtering a substance now clearance can be used uh, to estimate not just filtration uh, but also renal plasma flow uh, renal plasma flow is a bit tricky we will do a GFR first and let's see how it goes. So when we use, we have already used the equation of uh, clearance to estimate uh, the clearance of substance X. Uh, this can be used uh, to estimate GFR if that substance is called inoline. Now inoline is a substance which has certain properties. Um, conceptually, uh, uh, if I uh, briefly uh, uh, overview uh, the qualities of uh, a substance, ideal substance, which can be used in GFR estimation, uh, from the top of your head, what do you think that number one quality of that substance should be, keeping in view fixed principle? 
if you if you are thinking along the line that it should not be metabolized or produced in the kidney it should be just whatever is coming from the renal artery it, it should not be uh, uh, adulterated by the kidney tissue in any chemical way then you're right so this substance uh, and inulin is that substance it does not get uh, altered by the kidney whatever comes in from the renal artery uh, that is uh, filtered out nicely and uh, no questions asked uh, another uh, aspect is uh, inulin is filtered only it does not get reabsorbed and it does not get secreted so literally the amount of inulin that you give uh, it's filtered out and whatever is coming in the urine is only what is filtered it the, the nephron doesn't deal in any other phenomena uh, reabsorption or secretion for inulin so you can reliably look at the urine you know the rate of urine you know the plasma concentration you can easily derive the clearance of inulin and it will reflect reflect the amount of glomerular filtrate that you are forming uh, per minute uh, it's in, in another way you can say that you have tagged you have high you have sort of colored quote unquote colored the the fit the plasma with inulin and when this colored plasma got filtered out at the glomerulus that that whole filtration reflects accurately the amount of plasma that also got tagged along if you if you now understand what i'm saying so why inulin and let me just go to the next slide where i document this why inulin is an ideal substance uh, don't be bothered about this uh, for the moment just look at the left side the blue box of this uh, uh, this uh, slide uh, inulin is a is not produced in the body it's actually a fructose polymer you uh, you you get it from the uh, from a pharmacy you can you inject it in the in the person uh, according to a specific protocol it's the ideal substance for uh, gfr estimation uh, because it is freely filterable at the glomeruli as i said it's not reabsorbed or secreted it is not metabolized by any other organ of the body. It is just filtered at the nephron. So you can be rest assured that whatever you gave to the patient, it will only be touched upon by the nephron. And even in the nephron, it will only be filtered. It won't be, uh, there will be no other thing uh, occurring on this substance, even in the nephron. It's not toxic and it does not alter GFR in any way, uh, which can, uh, give you a false uh, elevated uh, 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 value of the GFR or uh, false uh, uh, lower value of the GFR. So it doesn't alter the GFR itself. Uh, so that's that's that. Um, however, uh, we will we will see in the next slides that in any case, inulin is an exogenous agent which you uh, uh, introduce in the body. And in any case, uh, the rare uh, person uh, who may be allergic to this reaction may react to it. And there will be another, uh, another issue, uh, the uh, antigen antibody reaction in the body. So Im the immune reaction of the body will, will make this simple procedure very, uh, very tedious. Uh, and in, in that, in that uh, particular person, this might not be ideal. Also, in, uh, 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 in patients who already have an infection going on, in injecting them it in itself is a, a risk because you are uh, using a needle and the puncture site is basically an opening in the skin through which uh, uh, further viruses and bacteria can enter the body. So again, in those uh, compromised patients, even a simple procedure as this can be a, an issue, uh, as we'll see later on. Going back to the previous slide. So we have uh, comfortably looked at how uh, clearance of inulin uh, will, uh, will reliably, very reliably reflect the uh, GFR. Uh, in, 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 uh, okay, so uh, uh, basically on a routine basis, you are working in a renal unit, you get 60 to 100 patients and you have to run GFRs in all of them. Uh, 
putting insulin in these people, uh, inulin, I beg your pardon, in these people and um, waiting for it to equilibrate throughout the system. There's a whole protocol in injecting in, then waiting for it uh, to equilibrate and then getting timed sample, urine samples. It's a tedious process and it requires time. If you are working in a public sector hospital where you, have, you are getting loads and loads of patients from the province, this is impossible. Plus, inulin obviously will incur a, a cost to the patient and the, the, the non-affording people uh, would not be able to afford that. Uh, and and time-wise, you won't be able to afford uh, running inulin clearances on, G, on, on your patients as a routine. So while GFR exact estimation uh, in, in, in crucial, in critical patients should be done by inulin, routine GFR estimations can be done by looking at their plasma creatinine. Now creatinine, uh, interestingly, is normally produced in the body. It is uh, produced by muscle breakdown, as you may know from your biochemistry. So plasma creatinine uh, uh, is, is, is steady depending on the, the person's muscle metabolism. And plasma creatinine GFR estimation uh, reflects uh, uh, to, to a good, good uh, efficient extent the actual GFR. However, as every good story has a twist, this story has two twists. G, uh, creatinine, if I tell you that creatinine gets secreted a bit in the uh, renal fluid, what would you say to that? Well, you should say that it is not an ideal substance then, is it? Because an ideal substance is not reabsorbed nor secreted. Correct, that is inulin. But we already said that, okay, we can't, if, uh, we can't afford inulin. We have to make do with creatinine. So it is secreted, that's a problem. However, uh, as uh, irony would have it, uh, the plasma estimation of creatinine is on the uh, uh, higher side as well. Okay, so plasma creatinine is not very accurately uh, uh, measured because creatinine resembles some other compounds in the blood normally found. So when you write up a test for plasma creatinine, you have a value which is creatinine plus those substances which are like creatinine. So the test is not sensitive enough to decipher your creatinine from those creatinine-like substances. So it reads those substances as creatinine as well, resulting in a slightly elevated, falsely elevated amount of uh, plasma concentration of creatinine. Okay. Now, if you can imagine, put this in, in the uh, clearance uh, uh, equation. So the amount of creatinine, which is, in, uh, which is coming in the urine, uh, has the secreted creatinine. So it will be elevated. The U multiplied by V for creatinine will be elevated falsely, but as will the plasma also will be elevated. These two cancel out each other, resulting in <clears throat> very uh, inappropriately accurate uh, figure of GFR. So the plasma creatinine is a good index of uh, GFR. 